Oh dear. Look what I've got. KTM, <coughs> as you can tell, because it's blue, I mean orange. KTM 990 Duke. <laughs> I don't know anything about the bike, but it looks nice. Almost like Alcantara seat. Quite narrow. Orange and black. Let's have a look at the indicators. It's got them silly type of indicators on it, I must admit. Mm. Oh, well. New dashboard. Oh. oh, that sounds nice. Tentatively coming out of the dealership. Guess how many miles it's done? Four. Four miles. Should really have wiped everything down. Quick shifter, standard. Ah, oh, this is nice. I've only ridden 100 yards. That throttle is lovely. I am very particular about a throttle. But that feels nice. I think they're around about 125 brake horse. <coughs> I'll put it up on the screen anyway. It tells you how many... How many brake horse it's got like I said I've only just jumped on it I've not really been introduced to it the gearbox is slightly stiff it's a slightly different angle to where I'm used to on the adventure let's go through town And uh, see if we can get some nice twist rolls for a little while. And in the meantime, hopefully, looking to see if we can find a hole in the wall. I would literally have to look up the specs of this to find out what it all is so I'm only going to talk from the seat of my pants what I'm feeling at the moment just peeling along it's lovely and respectable it's a lovely riding position I'm not leant over too much I'm not leant back too much it's got a nice little burble with uh, the exhaust quite understated it's probably stifled quite a bit with the Euro emissions let's go on the road that we came down so out of respect 
I'm gonna fill it up. It's already full. Seems such a shame to take it out in really crap weather to be honest. Lovely balance on the back. Really nice. The seat's really comfortable as well. I do like the seat. I think once the uh, this gearbox frees up a bit through a few more miles it will uh, allow it to be not so stiff on operation anyway let's go on some nicer roads I think when it's going to be dry this this bike straight away I like this bike better than the 890 Duke uh, quite slender between your legs again I, I'd look at the uh, specs see what size fuel tank it is it's nearly a one litre bike this when you come to think of it well when you just look at the figures it tells you it's a one litre bike 990 cc's it's done a total of seven miles so far Three of which are me peeling around the uh, the town of Kendall. Obviously, we've got new tyres. Mm, bit of an uphill start. That's not going to be nice, isn't it? Very nice. It's got cruise control, quick shifter. Oh, the brakes are very good. So Brembo brakes, even though they're branded KTM. Just build up. See, it's flashing there at 5,000 RPM because it's it's not obviously had its first service, so it doesn't like to be revved too much. There you go. So at 5,000, it wants you to change up. I'm just trying to get used to it, so forgive me if I'm not talking very much. I am very much aware of uh, its limitations in regards to uh, new tyres, new engine, new gearbox, new drivetrain, plus the fact that obviously it's been valeted. I love quick shifters and I think on these type of bikes, they're absolutely credit to the bike. As you can see, the weather conditions are shite, which don't lend it to this uh, naked style of bike, but I've got the weather gear on. I've got my laminated jacket on from Ixop. So I am toasty worn and not wet. But getting back to the bike, I do like the dashboard. Very similar, if not identical to the uh, 890 Adventure R that I've got. I do like the more I do like the more uh, modern dashboards that they have compared to the 890 uh, Dupes as the like the old style dash. Pulling the helmet off. Oh, you can have some fun on this. Oh, dear. <laughs> I 
I'm not really equipped for this style of bike today because I have got my peaked helmet on so it is pulling my uh, helmet back uh, it beggars belief whether or not I've actually fastened it correctly or not the roads are a bit shitty I do apologise to Triple D for taking out the pristine bike along these roads but they are here to be driven and we will test them but let's not get hit by traffic coming the other way around the tanker if all of these drawers were dry you really get a feeling of uh, how good they are which to be honest I'm quite blessed that they're not dry because if they were dry I think I'd be riding it a little bit harder and by riding it a bit harder I think yeah, it gives you a bit of a hooligan but what a bike and I've only driven it oh, how many miles now uh, six six miles I'll just put it into six gear just to pootle along. In fact, I'll just drop it down. I'll just see what the engine braking is like. See, I think the engine braking is a lot more than the 890 Adventure, that's for sure. I've got limited vision, got a peaked helmet, it's wet, brand new bike, 11 miles on the clock, brand new tyres and it's a demonstrator, so in other words it's not even mine, but how fortunate I am to ride this bike today despite the weather, I have to thank uh, Gary from Triple D for trusting me, me And I have to say, I'd buy one of these. <laughs> Honestly, I would. I think they're about £14,000. But seriously. <laughs> See where the road's going. The suspension is quite forgiving really. Let's just take let's just take a moment. Let's just take a moment a minute. Let's just calm down. Let's get the heart rate back down again. Wow. I rode the 890 Duke a few weeks ago. I came up here for something or other. Oh, that was it. I came up for my suspension to be sorted out, to be adjusted. And uh, I asked Gary if I could take out the 890 uh, Duke because I fancy. Because uh, the Duke actually, the 890 was such a good price because obviously this one's coming out. And. Uh, but yeah. Now that I've ridden this, I think I'd wait on getting one of these. Nationals. How enthusiastic is that? Nationals! Oh. Evening six gear, it's uh, the rev limiter is uh, saying I don't like it. I'm too new. Oh, shut up. Let's get on with it. Oh, 
I'd love to come out on a dry day, that's for sure down here. Well, that barbell, that the torque that you've got will get you out of any situation. This is a bad corner, this. The reason why I say it's a bad corner because it tightens up just about there. And I once came round there when there was a lot of horses to the other side of the road. I'm not even looking at the speed up. I might have to even blow it out. Not when you're thinking that I'm going too slow. God, it's so responsive. So comfortable as well. Really comfortable. Like I said, this seat's so nice. It looks nice as well. I think people are a bit put off by the headlight. Um, but I quite like it. I think it looks very futuristic. I don't think that your... Uh, your hands would get cold very much on this bike. Not because of the weather, just the fact you're holding on so much to actually stop yourself from falling off the back. Your hands grip on really tight. Look at that third gear, 22 miles an hour, fourth gear. I'm just going to put my foot, well, oh, just pulls. Fourth gear, 25 miles an hour. It's not, it's not jumping around. That's really nice. Really nice and pleasant. This bike is worthy of a dry road test in fact it's worthy of a proper indication of how much you could do a deal on that's how serious this bike is Get it from a distance look how slender it is It looks like a 300. Yeah, the only disappointing thing is with this, I think, is them indicators. It's got the same indicators as the BMWs where they're permanently late. They don't have a um, a separate tail light. They're integrated into the uh, into the indicators, which is a bit of a disappointment. I'd even keep the uh, the whole arse end on that. I wouldn't even bother with a tail tidy. And the reason why is because I'm a practical guy. Because when you do have a tail tidy, you get covered in crud. Whereas, quite a lot of people Wouldn't go out when it's raining like this or when it's wet and damp. I do. Inline twin cylinder. It's on uh, Bridgestone S22 tyres. Sounds like I know what I'm talking about. The black and round, that's as far as I know. So good at uh, slow manoeuvring and going around little bits of town. It's great. This is a good road. I do like this road. Just pull my thing around a bit more. There you are. Got my helmet properly on. The front brakes don't grab at all. They really feel quite nice and smooth. Very progressive when required. The S22s are coping 
really well in the changeable damp wet conditions that we have up in the north Hey, yeah, 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 yeah. See, in the dry, you'd fly around here. Make sure, make sure your bum twitch. Because the responsibility that you've got with somebody else's bike, brand new as well, by the way. by Burton and Kendall. Yes, let's go around over that way then back to uh, then back up to the uh, dealership. So this is a quick blast round. I could spend all day on this honestly. It's so comfortable. You twang it on the fucking indicator then as well. National speed limit. Don't think you'd even Take a caravan down here, never mind a motorbike. It's got loads of power, more than you need. More than you'd need. What a hooligan! Well, not even a hooligan, is it? But what a. I don't know, I don't even have the words to describe it. It's supposed to be the scalpel, I think, this. The scalpel. I think the scalpel's a bit to the point really, isn't it? Pardon the pun. I think it's a bit more a bit more brutal than that in some ways. And subtle in others. It's like an engineering marvel. You stop there, matey. Thank you. I like to get it when it's uh, doesn't have its revs limited. It would be nicer, but there again, it'd be nice when it's not uh, as damp as it is. The feet positions they look a bit far back. I think like they're not sat right underneath you like on the adventure. They just look a bit set back. So your heels are, are pointing back a bit, but it's comfortable. God, them brakes are good. Really, really good. Just enjoying the ride. I know I'm, I'm, a, a, I'm a gushy now over it, I know I am, but uh, it is very, very good. There's nothing really at the moment I go, do you know, I don't like that. I thought, well, actually, no, I'll tell a lie, there is them real lights. I don't like them real lights. I think for a safety point of view I don't like them. For the aesthetics they look really nice. But uh, you got such a small corner of the uh, the light being the indicator and the remainder being the uh, tail light cluster sort of thing. So look at all the grit here. Oh, oh dear me. I'm not being funny, if anyone's out for like a, 
I've never ridden the MT-10 or the MT-09, but they do sound nice because they're a triple. Even the, uh, the Triumph as well. I've never ridden that. I can't really say what I'd like between them all, but this is very, very good. This is almost like, I never thought I'd say this, but it's almost like the type of bike I like. Whereas, I do like the the fairing full adventure bike, you know, where you can sit up and beg and go touring on it, but throw a set of bags on the back of this, it'll still be just as capable. You just might end up with a speeding ticket too. It's one of them bikes. I'd actually think of buying the poster and put it in your bedroom and look at it all night. Like when I used to do about 14. God, it's so good this. So good. I've been over a few, uh, not potholes as such, but obviously grids that are quite harsh in the, in the floor. And uh, they've proven to be uh, the suspension to soak it up quite well. Well, very well, actually. The indicators are in a nice position as well. Um, so apparently it's got cruise control is standard and switch gear for this cruise cru cruise control is slightly different to the old model uh, these four way buttons are similar to the four way that we have on the uh, the older model as well the C button down here is a button for customising so basically you can put a function that you would regularly use that you want to get to quickly and allocate it to that button so once it's pressed it would come up so at the moment I think it's set to uh, ride mode so you can change your ride mode so at the moment it's in streets and I've not changed it yet so anyway let's play play around with it so our street and we'll change it to sport close throttle there you go it's in sport mode now let's see what that does You just you just got to put your big knickers on. That's what it is. So it's all manual settings on this suspension as well. There's nothing electronic with the suspension to set up. It's all uh, clickety click and all that. This little fear is flying along. What the hell. is a local what would I say about this bike I don't think in these conditions you could actually explore what the bike can do and I think it's unfair to make even a judgment however for what I've ridden and what I have seen this bike is amazing And that's not just because it's a new bike and, you know, oh, I've got it for like an hour or so or whatever. I am generally mean it's a superb bike. Let's go to Sue's Butty Bar. I think in this setting, which is sport, 
<laughs> I think uh, it's looking a bit more lumpy going at slower speed. Let's put it in uh, performance mode. There you go. Oh yes. Oh yes. Performance with the capital P. <laughs> oh shit. In fire. So as we meander down into the village of Milnthorpe, let's sum this bike up, shall we? If you don't like orange, maybe get the black. If you don't like black or orange, go and sit in, sit in the corner sucking your thumb. Because this bike is brilliant and the bike feels absolutely planted lovely and stable uh, I do like the style of the naked bike I've only just got into that really in the last 12 months I must admit it's not really been my thing before then but what a fantastic bike I'm gushing now, aren't I? I could quite honestly tour on this and have a lot of fun, which is what it's all about, you know? Let's go and have a brew. Look at that. It's got a face on it its mother could love. But it's pretty. And I mean really pretty. Unfortunately, it's dirty. Yeah. I'll gather my thoughts over a brew. Sue's Butty Bar. Get the growler. Yeah. Well, I've just had a cup of tea. For some reason, I've also had a burger as well. Couldn't resist. Yeah, Sue's Butty Bar, Milnthorpe. <coughs> Ten times better than. Um, Devil's Bridge burgers by the way, or even food and drinks as well. Highly recommended, Milnthorpe, just in the car park. There you go. Now I can worry myself to sit to death. I've also got a camera hanging off the side. Real world testing this, you know. It's best testing it in shitty conditions, then you can understand how you would roll ride it. Unless you just go to your local uh, cafeteria and drink flappuccino. And if you did, you wouldn't be bringing it out in this weather, would you? You know, I'll be looking at it, polishing it. <sighs> and uh, I've only done, yeah, what, 36 miles? And I've filled it up. <clears throat> That's roughly a gallon. I have borrowed the bike. And uh, out of respect I've refilled it back up I am the very first customer to have road tested this from the dealership apart from uh, Gary the salesman who's uh, done four miles on it apparently well I've just done 36 37 now and uh, I've loved every minute of it I think it's uh, 
it's going to sell well, but all because it's an absolutely cracking bike. Well, thank you very much to uh, Gary Triple D and Neil at Triple D Motorsport Kendall. Uh, it's been an honour. Thank you very much, and I've loved every minute of this. Seriously, that is fucking awesome. <laughs> That's awesome! Absolutely fucking awesome! <laughs>